Greetings, Auto Subs. Via James, and today we're actually gonna be catching Kyogre. So, um, yesterday I recorded a video of me catching Latias, and this is basically gonna be the same kind of thing as that. So I'm basically just gonna be catching Kyogre because I found a level four wormhole that just took me straight to Kyogre. Honestly, was kind of hoping for a Lugia, but Kyogre will do. But anyway, if you're wondering how you actually get Kyogre, you do actually have to get the blue wormhole and it does actually get a higher chance of spawning in the higher level wormhole so if you get a four level four wormhole you're basically guaranteed a chance of Kyogre and if you are wanting to get some of the other legendaries in this hole they do extend to Suicune, Lugia, the Latias, and Latios you can get again Kyogre you can get the late guardians and you can also get Kyurem if you have both Reshiram and Zekrom on your team so that's kind of interesting so this hole has a lot more legendaries than I ever expected. But we're going to go ahead and actually get this Kyogre. I'm probably not going to keep it because I want a Rash Kyogre for specific reasons. And unfortunately I don't have a Rash Synchronizer. And there it is. Kyogre is honestly one of my favorite legendaries. I was honestly very disappointed with its primal form. Because not only did its primal form cancel out something that was basically useless against it, but it also made one of its weaknesses completely completely accurate, meaning that it gets constantly hit by something. Alright, so we're going to go for Thunder Wave first turn, just to paralyze it. I also gave this Tapu Koko Taunt and Thunder Wave for the time being until I catch all of the Legends, just as like my setup Pokemon. And it actually has Origin Pulse. Okay, yeah, I'm wrecked. Yeah, I'm wrecked. Okay, um, let's see how much damage Grass Knot will do. I mean, it's probably going to kill it, but... Actually, no, it left it alive. Okay. Good job, Tapu Koko. You are actually a guardian deity. Okay, so Tapu Koko is going to go down to the muddy water, to that scummy water that's getting a boost from the rain. So I am going to switch into Robin Hood. Now, Robin Hood actually has False Swipe on it now, which was a mistake I had in the Latios video, or Latios, Latios video because I didn't have a false swiper, and that kind of prevented me from actually being able to do anything. So we're going to false swipe this Kyogre down, and I'm not going to try and get it in the Ultra Ball, because the Ultra Balls are basically impossible to catch Legends in. So I'm going to take an Ice Beam from that Kyogre, and Robin Hood's basically going to take it, because he's got extremely high special defense for some reason. But we're going to throw a Pokeball at this thing, and we'll see if it catches it. Nope. Okay, so what I... Oh, it's got Calm Mind! Oh, okay, so we got a setup Kyogre. If this thing has sheer cold, I'm going to be dead. Okay, we're going to go for more Pokeballs and just try and catch it. Now, I would try and get a little bit lower on the health, but False Swipe lowers it down to one health point. But yeah, I feel like this would be a good time to talk about some of the mechanics of the Ultra Wormholes, since I've been doing a lot of videos about them lately, so I might as well kind of explain them a tiny bit. Um... I will explain them in greater detail in a later video, but Pimp Knight kind of just did a video on that, so I don't really want to do it right now, just because people think I'm going to copy off him. But I did have the idea yesterday to make a video kind of explaining the Ultra Wormholes, and it was today that Pimp Knight uploaded his video, so I was like, okay, well, I can't do it now, so I got to do it some other time. So, basically how the wormholes work is you have four levels of wormhole. You have a level one, which has no rings around it, you have a level 2, which has, I think, one ring around it. You've got a level 3, which has two rings around it. And you've got a level 4, which will have two rings around it, but it will also have a kind of flowery pattern around it. Now, the way the wormholes work is there are five different colors of wormholes, including the white-colored wormholes, and they all lead to different Pokemon. So, the way the wormholes work is basically... You travel through the Ultra Space on your Solgaleo or Lunala. I personally prefer using Solgaleo kind of just because it takes up less of the screen space. And it actually lets you see more. But there are five colors of wormholes. And the farther you go into the Ultra Space, the more, um, the higher rank of wormhole you can actually see. So if you go, like, um, 2,500 light years into the wormhole, then you can actually get the chance of the level 1 wormhole to go down and the chance of the level 2 wormholes will actually go up to 50% and the highest the chance for the level 4 wormhole will get is actually 5% and 
meaning it's very rare to actually encounter one, which is surprising because I've seen like six of them. But each wormhole leads you to different Pokemon, and depending on the wormhole, you could get a legendary or not. But usually with the legendary Pokemon, if you are hoping to obtain one, usually you want to try and go for the wormhole with two rings around it or the ones that are above that because those will basically raise the chances of you getting a legendary up higher. And if you go into a flowery, a flowery designed wormhole, it will actually guarantee you the chance of a legendary. I've actually gotten like three of the flowery wormholes and they've all been legendaries. Two of them have actually been Kyogre. And I think one of them was Palkia, and it was one of the yellow wormholes. Okay, can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, you troll. Alright, so the Kyogre's gonna break out. It's gonna go for Ice Beam, meaning Latias is gonna go down. Crap, okay. I might need to do something to this, and fast. So if I go into Bold, then I can probably revive something. But what to revive is the issue right now. Um... I could go for a revive on Tapu Koko, since it's level 75 and it's an electric type, but Tapu Koko has like zero resists. I probably should have put a assault vest on something before I came in here. So yeah, so UMB Bull is going to go down. Um, I'm going to actually switch into Stone Claws because it's level 79 and it does have a decent little bit of special defense bulk. So I might be able to take a hit, but I probably won't. So I'm going to full restore on Tapu Koko just so it gets more health. And I'm going to bring that up. The Kyogre is going to go for more Calm Mines. Great. And we're actually going to try and throw more Pokeballs at it. I can't really do anything to it right now because I'm basically out of options. But we're going to just hurl Pokeballs at it and hope that we can catch it. If I keep reviving the stuff that it's weak against, then I should be able to stay alive longer. But Stone Claws is going to take that Ice Beam just because he's a boss. I'm going to go for another Pokeball. Again, the reason I always go for Pokeballs is because I like to catch the Legendaries in the least likely Pokeball possible. Um, you guys can go for whatever Pokeball you want. Stone Claws did a little thing there. I don't know what he did. Looked like he had a fleet or something and he was getting at it. But we are actually going to go for more Pokeballs. I have 280, so I shouldn't run out anytime soon. But the debate of whether or not I run out of Pokemon is completely open. Because this Kyogre is probably going to wreck me as soon as it gets all these Calm Minds off. Unless I keep reviving. But at this point there won't be anything to revive because it keeps getting the Calm Mind. I probably should have taunted this. If I'd known it had Calm Mind, I probably would have taunted it. Yep, we failed. Okay. Um... I might try throwing an Ultra Ball at it just because I want to catch this. I don't want to kind of leave this video to be kind of empty like I did with the Latias video. Because I tried catching that thing for like a straight 45 minutes and it didn't work. But we're going to just go for one more Pokeball and if it doesn't work I'll have to go to the Ultra Balls. Um, we get one shake and it fails. Okay. So it's going to go for Origin Pulse now. That's actually going to take out our Stone Claws, Lycanroc. And it's going to actually go down completely. I like Dusk Lichen Rock's Cry. Um, I probably should have brought something with Water Absorb, too, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, okay, we're going to go in with the Tapu Koko. And we're going to actually set up the Electric Surge. But that's not really going to do much for us, so I'm... Oh, I don't even have any Ultra Balls. Oh, um... Well then, okay, so... Maybe a Dive Ball? Because it does live underwater technically. Um, you know what? We'll go for a dive ball. I'm probably going to soft reset anyway, so I'll just try and go for a dive ball. Plus, I have 14 of them. Come on. Scummy dive ball. Nope. Scummy dive ball didn't work. Oh, and it's finally getting paralyzed. Finally feeling some of the paralysis, are you? Okay. Well, we're going to actually go for another dive ball. And we're going to see if that works. It's at one health, so I can't really do anything to damage it. If I try and do something to damage it, I'll actually end up killing it. Yeah, okay, dive balls do nothing. Uh, it's going to go for Ice Beam, and Tapu Koko is probably going to die. Yeah, Tapu, Ko Tapu Koko is dead. Alright, well, I'm going to soft reset real quick to try and get that again. Alright, Tapu Koko is going to go out. I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave first. Just to get that paralyze off, because I don't think it's going to go calm mine first turn. 
Um, last time it went for the Origin Pulse. And to get the Drizzle off, so... With Drizzle, Origin Pulse is going to be stronger. So I'm actually going to go for Thunder Wave and hope that it gets paralyzed. And it actually does. Great. So now we just got to hope that the Paralyze actually kicks off. And it's going for Ice Beam. Great. Tapu Koko is going to kind of take that. Just because he has incredible resist to ice. So we're going to go for Taunt to try and just shut this thing down from Calm Mind. Because I really don't want it to use Calm Mind. And, oh, the prediction. I actually got it on the turn it was trying to use Calm Mind. Okay, we're going to go for Grass Knot. And we're going to try and damage this thing's health a little bit more. There we go. Unfortunately, I can't hit it now because Tapu Koko is just going to kill it. Um, we'll actually go for another Pokeball. I do have a Master Ball, but I don't really think I'll use that. Just because Master Ball OP. But we're going to actually go for a Pokeball and fail miserably. So the Kyogre's going to go for an Ice Beam and finish us off. Meaning I'll actually switch into my Decidueye. Because Decidueye does have a decent bit of Special Defense bulk. And the Taunt wore off. Of course it did. Um, crap. Well, I might have to revive Tapu Koko. Because if that thing doesn't have Taunt on it anymore, then we might be in big trouble. Because, I mean, we saw what happened last time. The Calm Mind kind of killed us instantly. So it's going for Ice Beam. It's not doing that much damage to us. The electricity is disappearing. I'm going to go for another False Swipe just to kind of turn it off. And get it down to 1 health. And it's actually going to get paralyzed. That's great. So I'm going to try and huck a Pokeball at it just to see if it actually works. Just because it's at 1 health, so there is a possibility. And we get 1 Shake. 2 Shake. 3 Shake. And we actually caught... I'm dead right now. Did we seriously just catch that with the first Pokeball? Oh, I'm so salty. Okay, so apparently the strategy for catching Kyogre is get wrecked and then let it get caught. Alright, um... My Umbreon's trying to learn a move. I'll just get rid of Tackle just to kind of get rid of this. But that is so scummy. It has to kill us, then let us catch it. That's that's honestly just scummy. All right. So we got the Kyogre. Um, I'm not going to give it a nickname just because I don't like nicknaming Legends. Because I feel like their names are already legendary enough. Uh, we actually have an Impish Nature. That's interesting. So what are its stats, actually? We got 208 in the HP, 143 in the attack, 134 in the defense, 121 in the speed, 191 in the special defense. Okay, someone's got EVs. And we got 166 in the special attack, actually. Um, that's actually expected because it's got the ambition nature, so that's getting lowered. But anyway, that is actually how you catch Kyogre. Um, again, this is the same wormhole area in which you guys can capture uh, Suicune, Lugia, Latios, Latios and the late guardians as well as Kyurem. So if you are wondering what ultra space that is, it is actually the ultra wilds. So that is going to be actually where you have to go to be able to get Kyogre. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. Like I said, I will do a video explaining the wormholes in greater detail. Now that we have the actual statistics of the wormholes, I will do a video explaining them. I'll probably put it up Sunday or next week, depending on when, but like I said, I don't really want to do it right today, or right tomorrow, because Pimp Knight literally just uploaded a video today about his explanation of the wormholes, and I don't really want people to say that I'm copying off him, and I'm trying to get the fame off a bigger YouTuber, which I'm not, by the way, in any way. I'm just trying to have fun, and do what I love with the recording, and just have fun with what I'm recording, and that's why that the fact that this kind of content is in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that this kind of legendary hunting and this kind of ultra wormhole hunting, that we get all this bonus content, that we can actually do all this crap, and I can actually have fun sharing the Pokemon games with you guys without actually having to kind of be concerned about the story. But anyway, I'm going to leave this video here before I ramble on any longer. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button as always, and I will see all you beautiful people in the next video.